Good afternoon, everybody. Todd Fuller here with Fire Disc Cookers, and welcome to Fired Up Friday, a special episode for Memorial Weekend, actually episode 17. Man, I can't believe we've done 17 already, but here we go. We are going to do a, man, I tell you, one of my favorite recipes for Memorial Day weekend, and probably a lot of you folks cook these as well, but we're going to do barbecue pork baby back ribs, man. I tell you, on the fire disc. And we're going to do southern baked beans to go along with that. And, you know, you cannot have barbecue ribs without steak fries. I mean, that is like a staple in my house. So we're going to do those as well. We're going to really showcase the versatility of the fire disc. And let's start with the ribs now. So we have been preparing these ribs, uh, actually steaming these ribs for about 45 minutes. So we got a little head start on you. And we did, I'll show you here, we, we also, um, you know, put a little bit of the bodacious uh, seasoning on it beforehand. You can see there a picture of that. And then once we did that, we put them right into the fire disc and started steaming them right away. And Jimmy, are you showing that little piece there? All right, cool. So we did that, they've been steaming here. I'm gonna show you uh, a sneak peek. So let's take a look. I'm gonna go, why don't you go overhead, Jimmy? And we'll uh, take a look at these man beautiful ribs so we've been steaming these things for about like i said 45 minutes and they're just about ready to come off just wanted to save a little time and just watching you know rib steam for 45 minutes but one of the things that you want to do is i'm going to put the top back on there is you want to make sure that you just keep watching the water um boy i tell you you know that with the heat right underneath the fire disc that steaming it it, it is a fantastic steaming device as well so I think we're we're just about ready to um, to pull these off. So I'm gonna take the lid off. So we're gonna do the ribs first. We're gonna take them out of here. I'm gonna actually put the lid back over here. I'm gonna actually turn off the fire disc here real quick, and I'm um, gonna grab the ultimate gripping weapons, and we're gonna we're gonna pull these ribs right off. I'm really excited to to do these. So. First and foremost, we are going to we're going to take and cut these up a little bit, and um, then we're going to baste them with the barbecue sauce. I'm going to take and um, remove the water from this, so as you know, as you can see, the, the versatility of the fire disc steaming first. Then we're going to take and baste them in the barbecue sauce and put them back into the fire disc to brown them up. And uh, man, then we're gonna slide them to the to the top, and then we're gonna we're gonna do the southern baked beans right in the same fire dish. So I'm gonna set all the tools down here. I'm gonna actually grab uh, grab this, get the uh, steaming grate out of here. It's a little little warm, so I'm gonna set it down to the side here as well done with that and then we're gonna take and dump out the water here real quick so all right. slide over here all right so now that we've got the uh, water dumped out we're gonna wipe out the fire disc Jimmy if you want to go overhead with that and kind of as you can see um, we've got this fire disc kind of se seasoned pretty well we're working on it but um, anyways it uh, it wipes out nice and easy and clean. So we are, you know, we'll be ready to do the barbecue ribs here. All right. Set that there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna cut these ribs up a little bit. And just so they're a little more manageable, not only to eat, but, oh man, that looks so good. But also when we're cooking be able to flip them and, and baste them and uh, you know brown these up a little better it is falling off the bone Jimmy Let's see here get these cut Woo. see that man it is falling off it looks wonderful okay now you can make your own homemade barbecue sauce if you want, but I'm using my favorite, which is Sweet Baby Ray's. Love it, love it. But any any barbecue sauce you want to do, um, you can do you can uh, you can use. But I'm going to go ahead. Let's 
let's fire up the, the disc again and get this rocking and rolling. All right, and I'm going to put it uh, pretty much on, on medium medium to medium high heat because we're going to, these are already cooked, so we're going to want to just brown them real quick, blacken them, and then we're going to slide them up to the side and then we'll get, uh, get started with the beans. All right. These are looking good. What I'll do first, too, though, is um, I'm going to put just a little bit of grapeseed oil in here just to give it a little bit of seasoning, and then I'll, I'll wipe it out to get started. Again, the, the, uh, the disc will, will be pretty warm still. I mean, that's one of the great things about the fire disc is that uh, it does retain heat. And, you know, as we cook and we do our stage cooking, you know, sliding it up to the edge. That fire disc keeps that food nice and warm and slow cooks it. Just get a little little grapeseed oil on there just to get a little seasoning before we uh, get started. Now, I got to tell you, this is the first time I've done this with these ribs, but they are looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and, and baste these ribs. Again, you can put as much or as little on as you want. But man, this is about to, I mean, it was smelling good before, but it's about to smell really good. There's nothing like the smell of barbecue sauce cooking on a grill or it's going to be awesome. So everybody, just remember, you know, um, make sure your comments are uh, below. We'll be picking some winners like we always do for some fire disc swag packs. And uh, man... Why don't you let me know what uh, what's up this weekend, this Memorial Day weekend? And um, you know, not only is it is a is it a great time to spend with friends and family, but also a time to remember all the military heroes that uh, you know lost their lives and uh, sacrificed for our freedom and our ability to uh, do what we're doing today. So, all right, that is looking good. I'm going to put these on. The fire disc is heating up good. And I love that sound. Love that sound. And it is not going to take long for these to brown up. That's the beautiful thing about the fire disc. It is, it cooks really fast. And again, if you wanted to, you could cut these things up even more into smaller pieces. Um, but man, can you smell that yet, Jimmy? Holy cow. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and baste the other side here. Getting a good look at that, Jim. Over the top. Awesome. Again, so we'll be browning these up here quickly. Then it's on to the, uh, to the baked beans. Ooh, look at that already. Looking good. Like I said, it won't, won't take long. And then what we'll do is we'll, uh, we're gonna slide these up to the edge. Man alive, I tell you, there is nothing like cooking on this fire disc. And you know, I'll have to say with the with the new street steaming grate in the lid, just so versatile. And I think from a steaming standpoint, boy, these ribs steamed really quick. It was like I said, it was about 45 minutes steaming. In other methods, you know, you you yeah, it could take two to three hours to steam these things in the oven or whatever. But man, I tell you, it's it is. It is awesome and fast. How's that looking, Jimmy? That looks really good to me. <laughs> anyway, so just about done here on this on this side. Just want to brown them up, man. They're cooked. They're cooked well. Um, just want to give them a little that smoky flavor. Man, I think those are about good. We're gonna slide these up to the side again. They're gonna they're gonna continue to kind of stay warm up here till we're ready to to really cut them up and eat them 
So we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to wipe out the fire disc, and then we're going to we're going to do the beans next. So and again, a little little bit of this barbecue sauce in here is not going to hurt anything with these southern southern beans. All right, so to start with the beans. Now, I cheated a little bit. I tend to do that just to speed things up here on the show, but you could use, you know, beans and make your, your sauce from scratch. We're going to kind of modify um, the, uh, the baked bean sauce or tomato sauce that, that came with this, but, um, but you can make it from scratch as you want. And we'll also, in the recipes, we'll, we'll, we'll put a, you know, a scratch recipe in there. So if you want to do it that way, or if you want to do it like I do, um, you can do that as well. But let's, I'm going to go ahead and turn this to low. And um, man, we're going to we're going to actually um, to start with this. We're going to do the the bacon first. So we got bacon in these beans. So we're going to do that first. Get this bacon cooked. And we got about eight slices of bacon here. And. Um, yeah, the bacon grease is going to give us a nice base for the for the beans as we as we uh, toss them in here. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying this episode so far. I mean, first time doing the ribs, I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed for sure. And again, pretty quick. Not doesn't didn't take too long to do them, and they are looking perfect. So why don't you leave in the comments, what, what's everybody up to this uh, Memorial Day weekend? Heading to the lake, going camping. Man, I tell you, you know, one of the nice things too about the fire disc, it is, it's super versatile, um, easy, you know, portable, runs on the green propane tank, and, um, and you can take it anywhere with you. So one of the great things, you know, from the backyard to, man, wherever you want to cook out in the wild. So it's... It's a great tool. Bacon's starting to look good here. So I guess I wanted to ask everybody, did you have a chance to watch Fired Up Live last month? Man, I tell you, it was amazing. Legendary country music artist. Jeannie Seeley and Claudia, man, they, they, it was a great show. If you haven't caught that yet, you can head over to uh, our community page and you can see, um, you know, all of the, the previous episodes. We got a new episode coming up, Fired Up Live, on June 9th. We don't know who the guest is yet, but we're working on that. We should know uh, probably by the end of the week. So I'm sure it's going to be someone amazing. And, uh, yeah, be sure to check that out and, and, uh, for, you know, a great show and an, another chance to win a fire disc cooker or swag pack or Poyser Country coffee too. All right, so this, this bacon's looking really good. Just about done. So once that's uh, that's done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw, uh, throw the beans in here. Jimmy, can you see over the top there? Just kind of put these beans in. Slide these ribs up there. Looking good. And again, these uh, we're going to dress this up a little bit. Next, um, next I'm going to throw in. Yeah, let's throw in the uh, the onions. I got a about a cup of onions. Maybe a little less, but you know you can do it to taste. these in here looking good this will continue to warm up and, and cook and then also we're going to put um, put a little bit of molasses in and again the uh, the quantities will be in the recipe so some molasses 
And of course you can't have, you know, baked beans without a bunch of brown sugar, which looks awesome. I'm gonna also put uh, some mustard in, some ketchup, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna dress this up a little bit with um, some of the uh, cha cha chili seasoning from Fire Disc. So I'm gonna spice it up just a tad. So I'm gonna put some of that in here. That is gonna be amazing. I mean, it doesn't get any more Memorial Day than you know barbecue ribs and baked beans, Southern baked beans that is, Fire Disc style. that. Is that looking good, Jimmy, or what? All right. All right. Get that rolling with the heat. And I think I might also, um, you know, put a little bit of slow and low bourbon in there. I think dress it up with a little bourbon. I think I'll do that too. That'll add a nice little flavor to it. We're gonna let this just kind of simmer just a little bit more. Again, it doesn't it doesn't take long. And we got a whole lot of beans for a for a big crowd here, so we're gonna get the beans out of here real quick. And then we'll slide, actually, um, we're going to leave the uh, the ribs right here on the side. And then it'll be time for the steak fry. Good deal. Well, I tell you, for all of you that have fire discs, hope you're enjoying them. Hope you get, you know, get the fire discs out this weekend. And be, there, you be it at the beach, the lake, campsite, man, wherever wherever you take it. Be sure you, you post some you know, pictures in our Fire Disc, uh, Fire Disc Nation group on Facebook. So if you haven't joined Fire Disc Nation group, go ahead and do that. You don't have to own a Fire Disc to join. So it's a, it's a great place to see all kinds of cool photos, videos, recipes, and uh, just people enjoying, you know, the outdoors and cooking on the Fire Disc. And I tell you, you know, today's Friday, the start of Memorial Day weekend. We've got a great sale going on. We've got 20 to 50% off Fire Disc products um, on the website, so be sure to, to go check out a Memorial Day sale. And uh, now's a really good time to pick up a Fire Disc for the summer. And uh, you can't go wrong with the, uh, with the sale we got going on right now. All right, Jimmy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and get, this, uh, get these beans out of here. They look really good. They do look really good. So the other, the cool thing about the, and I talk about this every, almost every episode, the ultimate cooking weapon here, um, not only is it a spatula, but also is a, I would say, acts as a ladle too. You can see it's got a nice, you know, contour to the shape of the fire disc, so it makes getting the products, um, the food out of here really easy. Um, and so, yeah, it's a great, uh, great tool to have you, if you don't have one and you're uh, looking to buy a fire disc or have a fire disc, make sure you, you pick one up. And here's the garbage truck, right on time. All right. Get the rest of this. Those beans are looking really good, Jimmy. I'm gonna set these right over here. I'm going to turn off the fire disc just for a second. Set this over here. Get my area cleaned up a little bit. Man, I can't wait to taste these ribs, I tell you. They are looking fantastic. All right, I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to pull the ribs out here just for a second while I do the, uh, do the fries. Man, oh man, look at those. Can you see them over the top, Jimmy? Whew. They are looking fantastic. 
And again, I just, man, I just love the versatility of this fire disc. It is, it is awesome. Be able to do this all in one, one grill. Get this cleaned out. And next are the steak fries. And to round, to round it up, I should say round it out. And I tell you, every time you you know you cook a meal and you keep cooking on this, it just gets more seasoned and seasoned, and the food just continues to taste better and better. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get some oil in here, and again, you can use um, avocado oil or grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is my favorite, as I say every every show. But um, you can use whatever you you like. All right, where'd my lighter go? I'm going to get this fired up. And it's time to do some fries. Got a little uh, fajita seasoning too. A knife here. And again, you know, you can make your own cut fries if you want from potatoes, or you can use store-bought fries. Right, dump these in here. These are looking good, Jimmy. That oil's heating up fast. Again, it doesn't take long. I just cut the heat just a little bit. It's not going to take the heat out of the pan, but it'll just keep the direct heat off the off the um, off the disc while I do this. All right. As you can see, the oil is starting to bubble already up the temp. And time for some fries. Here we go. easy as that. I mean, everything, the whole meal in the fire disc. Oh, here they come again. All right. So again, be sure to put some comments in there. Let me know where you're from. Man, what you've been cooking on the fire disc. Any thoughts or ideas that you have for future uh, episodes, things that you'd like us to cook, just let us know. Put them in the comments. Be awesome. All right. So, again, the nice thing, uh, wait for these, uh, wait for this garbage truck to get by here as we're doing these fries. I'm also going to put a little bit of um, fajita seasoning on there. It's probably my favorite for the uh, for the french fries. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this, turn this heat up a little bit more. Get these french fries cranking away. But it won't take, it won't take long at all. Again, it doesn't take a whole lot of oil here to, to do these fries. And that's a that's another nice thing about the fire disc. You know, it's it's got enough concave, that's right, concave shape. Um, you know, hold that oil and just, just enough to do uh, to do your frying if you're frying fish or you know onion rings or man, we've done some awesome things on the fire disc frying. You know, corn on the cob. Yeah, we did the corn on the cob, so if you want to you want to check out I'm trying to remember what episode that was we did but uh, go back through you can see um, see a bunch of stuff we fried some just some amazing things actually yeah you can see those episodes you can also go to the website we've got lots of recipes on the website so you can check that out also while you're there you might as well sign up for the uh, for the monthly giveaway so we give away a fire disc every month the one lucky winner so you know you can go there and sign up and and do that 
All right, starting to crank it up here. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I tell you, again, we're gonna we're gonna get these plated up here real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and slide the. Now I got the oil in there. I'm gonna go ahead and slide the the ribs back up on the edge here. Hopefully they'll stay. Um, just to continue to keep them warm, and we will be eating soon. I can tell you that. I know that uh, you know most most kids are out of school. I know my kids um, yesterday was their last last day of school, so I'm surprised they haven't come out just to check out what's going on so far. But uh, excited to to get them cooking on the fire disc and what we did. Uh, I think one of the great episodes we did prior to was uh, cooking hot dogs. I think it was with my son, and uh, you can check that out. We did some amazing hot dog recipes i think we did some bacon wrapped hot dogs uh man i i can't remember all of them but they were awesome so check that episode out these fries are just about done here and then we will plate this up called another great fired up Friday yeah I know I, I keep saying this but I just can't get over the versatility with the new steaming grade and the and the lid it just opens up so many things to be able to you know steam those pork ribs and then just brown them up and in, in the barbecue sauce man my mouth is watering just talking about it <laughs> yeah. All right, Jimmy, these are getting brown. Are they looking good up on the camera? Oh, yeah. Yeah? All right. Cool. They're just about done here, so I'm going to let them cook just a minute. Going to get a plate. And we, are, we are about to serve these up. Put a couple of the ribs on here. Man, I tell you, that looks fantastic. Get these fries. Yeah, these are these are done. Just a, just about how I like them. I like them. A little, I don't like them too crispy. That's you know not my style. I like a little a little softer. So I'm gonna put these right on here now. Super hot. I, and that's one thing I love is hot fries. Hot fries. All right. Slide these fries up. Out of the grease. Out of the oil. Awesome. I'm going to cut the fire disc off here. I'm going to take a little bit of beans. Man alive, Jimmy, I tell you. <laughs> we did it again. Look at that. Can you see it over the top? Oh, so we got some barbecue pork baby back ribs, some steak fries, and man, some southern baked beans. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. And uh, yeah, once again, once again, be sure to, uh, you know, pay tribute to all our military heroes out there. And I guess one last thing that uh, I wanted to mention that Jimmy brought up is we got uh, episode three of the podcast up. So make sure you check that out. Fired up with Michael Garfield. This one, it's, it's a great episode. One that, uh, man, I'll, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but check it out. It's, it's awesome. But again, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. And we will see you next month on Fired Up Friday. Take care.